Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you one of my new favorite artificial intelligence tools for educators for you to use as an educator, but also something you can use with your students or show them how to use. And this tool is called Goblin Tools, which is kind of a funny name. But this tool is a I'm on the web version right now, which is my personal favorite. But if you want to have some consistency across devices, there are apps that are available for Goblin Tools, but they do come with a little bit of a price tag. But the web version is totally free. So what this tool does is it provides supports for executive functioning, for writing, for analyzing tone and really communicating as well. It was actually specifically designed for neurodivergent learners and thinkers and anyone with ADHD. Um, and it's been in a lot of different education circles talking about its benefits for those specific groups. But in the spirit of universal design for learning, it can really be helpful for any and all of our students if we empower them with the option to access it and give them some training and on it. So uh, here I am on the website and there are really six different tools built into this one web tool. My personal favorite is this magic to do. So what this does is it basically will take a whole list of things that you have to do and break them or chunk them into smaller tasks. So if you've ever felt overwhelmed by all the things you need to do, or you just have a lot going on, bigger projects, and you just want to have it all on here and then have it really think through what to target first and how much time it might take, this is the tool for you. So I can start typing in. I love that there's a little bit more accessibility baked into this. So I can use voice typing to have it type out what I want to do. And this little spicy meter over here uh, really gives you a, a meter here on how much we want to have things broken down for us. So All right, so I can type in all of those different things. All right, and I put that on here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move my little camera up here so you can see a little bit better, is if I click this, it's gonna break down this item. So I kind of was writing in a list format anyway, but if I hadn't and I just really typed out all of the different things, or if I wanted to just talk through it, what it's going to do is break down all of these different things. So I put in one that was pretty broad and it was just making my presentation for a conference. All right, so it really talks me through all of these different steps. And if I want it to be not as many steps here, if that's too overwhelming for me, I can change this little spicy meter up here. Um, but right here, I can do, I can edit this, I can add even more subtasks, I can remove it if I don't feel like it's necessary, if I've already done it. I can click this to cross things off. If I wanted to break down this list item again right here, I can click the little magic button and it will go through it. I can click this estimate button and then it's going to give me an estimate for how long I should really set aside time for this task. So if you're a procrastinator like me and you always wait until the final hours to make presentations or slides, well, this might be helpful for you and put things in perspective because I could never quite figure out how much time it's going to take me to do that. Okay. So what's cool with this sync button is this, if you actually start to use the applications and you can connect this across your profile and have it sync as you complete things and pull up your phone if you're not always in front of your computer. If I click this button right here, I can also save some files and upload my checklist items if I would like. Okay, so that's one way that you can use this. So if I wanted, I can copy and paste this. I can just pin this tab to keep it open while I work through these different things. So that's the magic to do feature of Goblin tools. The other ones that are on here that are super professional and helpful is this formalizer tool. So this is really helpful for writing uh, and kind of changing your tone when you write. So what this does is if you are writing out some questions or maybe emails or communication, whether it's in your newsletters or something, um, or just responding, I if I think of students, maybe they're trying to create a message in Canvas to their teacher to ask some questions, they can type out what they're thinking, and then it will convert it into maybe a more professional format. Um, and I can change this here, I can change where it's more polite, less snarky, if maybe I'm upset about something, I need to remove that from it, more sociable, I can decide how I want this to be. And again, there's also that voice typing. So if I want to just talk through it, or if I have some um, you know, if I'm kind of in a hurry, I can easily do that versus sitting here and typing it all out. The judge, what this will do is help students 
understand the tone of a message that they're either writing or what someone else has said. So this is really helpful for some of our neurodivergent students who maybe need a little bit more support in this area. Or if I'm a teacher, maybe I'm being unclear and my student wants to double check on what I'm trying to tell them. This is a great way for them to do that and vice versa. So again, you can record the voice here, record the, record the voice note, type with your voice, or you can type it out and then it will judge and try to help you as well as like the replies that go along in that conversation thread. So super helpful in that sense. The estimator, we kind of saw that baked into the magic to-do, but this will give you a time estimate on different to-do list items you might have or tasks you need to do during the day. Really helpful if I'm thinking of students during guided resource or study hall and they have a bunch of different assignments they need to do and need to prioritize them, maybe getting some of those faster ones done first, they can type those in here and kind of give them some direction for their time. The compiler here is a little similar to the magic to-do, but if I am maybe thinking about all the things I need to do or I have a lot of thoughts swimming in my head, I can basically do a brain dump where I write down all the things I'm thinking about and all the things I know I have to do, and it's gonna turn them into tasks. So makes it something that's productive and gives me some guidance, especially if I'm kind of at a point where I don't really know where to begin. This can help me take those steps. And the last one here is more of like a personal use. Um, so if you have students who really love to cook or they want to bring in some new recipes and things, or if you want to, this will help you uh, plan out your meals. So gives you some ideas here of if I want to have this for lunch or I'm feeling this, it tells you what ingredients you might need, recipes, and what you could cook if you wanted to have a certain genre or style of cuisine. So that is Goblin Tools. It is totally free to use. If you keep the tab up, even if I navigated to those different ones, it remembers my work um, in this button here. I can clear this. You know, I have even more features and options available. So love this tool. I would love to hear how you're using it. And I hope that you find it to be helpful for both your personal use as well as your students.